Hello there, and welcome to another edition of Hashtag Now Smoking, where we share cigars we like with you and hope you like them too. I'm Gary Korb, executive editor for CigarAdvisor.com, and today I've got a new one from H. Upman Cigars. These cigars have really been phenomenal for the last couple of years. This is the H. Upman 1844 Classic and the Robusto. Okay, this is a cigar made in Honduras at the La Flor de Copan uh, factory. It is a 5 by 52 Robusto, and I like 52 Robustos. The wrapper is in Ecuador, Connecticut. Very beautiful looking Connecticut, very light. Looks a lot like a U.S. Connecticut. And the binder and filler are all Honduran. Okay, so the whole thing comes from Honduras inside. And I really like that because I love Honduran tobacco. Now, this has been described as a next level shade. Uh, it's um, uh, a term that they came up with, meaning that, you know, they're trying to debunk the idea that, you know, cigars with uh, these Connecticut Shea wrappers are mild and have very little complexity, which is not true. And if you've smoked some Connecticut's over the years from some of the other blenders, especially those who are in Nicaragua and stuff in Honduras, you know that they're not. This classic joins the other 1844 H. Upman lines, which include the vintage uh, Cameroon, 1844 Reserve, and the 1844 Añejo, which we have uh, reviewed on Cigar Advisor and that's a real nice one, too. So anyway, it's made by the Grupo de Maestros in Honduras. Those guys are phenomenal. They've really done a, an amazing job with this blend. I'll get more into that later. So how did this cigar start out? OK, well, first of all, it's really good looking cigar. Um, I love how they got this color for this shade wrapper. Really nice, nice color. Very smooth, very silky, very, uh, you know, well done, seamlessly rolled. And they've had a triple cap on it. Really well done, too. Um, there are very few veins in the cigar. As far as the aroma, um, off the wrapper, it was very sweet, like like sweet hay. You know, that sweet hay, you know, uh, aroma you get. Really sweet, though. And the um, cap cut beautifully. And it uh, had kind of a um, pre-light draw was more like a, a kind of a... Um, a leathery flavor, really. And there was a little sweetness in there, too. And the cigar lit really well. And as you can see, it's burning beautifully. OK, those first few puffs were very creamy and very nutty. And it was almost like an uh, almond butter. The nutty flavor is very close to almonds. And I, I, the best thing I can compare it to is almond butter because it was very creamy, too. So um, there's also a fair amount of peppery spice up front. OK, and this lingers on the finish a little bit. So you take a puff. Really nice, really smooth, but get a little bit of pepper on the on the on the back of the throat. But it you know it just kind of lingers there. But it's it's not really annoying or anything like that. And by the time you get to this part of the cigar, a little past the inch or so, it definitely rounds right out, and the pepper just kind of subsides, and you have a really nice, smooth, creamy cigar. And as the cigar goes along it actually rounds out even more and it seems to have uh, kind of settled down into a rich tasting mix of like nuts and that vanilla cream in fact i'd even say that some of these puffs you just take your time and try to really taste those flavors i'm even getting sort of like a, a hint of white chocolate yeah just that you know it's just really really nice um so the finish still long but it's a little bit of a dry finish too okay so it's not a bad thing just that's the way it is it's, some finishes are dry some are a little more more on the wet side um i don't really retrohale anymore um but i have a sneaky suspicion that this retrohale is going to be kind of peppery i don't know but let me know if you get a chance to smoke it okay as far as the uh strength of the cigar uh, right now it's solid medium in body and medium in strength the smoke output, as you can see, is excellent. Everything about the cigar is just really creamy, really relaxing. And I'd have to say at this point, the cigar is checking all the right boxes in terms of performance and flavor and balance. Yeah. Anyway, we're at the halfway mark of our H. Upman 1844 Classic Robusto. Look at that ash. I mean, this cigar is so well made and I would only expect 
the best from the Grupo de Maestros, of course. <laughs> but uh, seriously, um, right now the flavors really haven't changed very much. There seems to be some underlying leathery notes uh, coming through and the smoke is still very, very creamy. The body appears to have stepped up a little bit and I'm gonna put it in the medium plus, uh, you know, medium plus category at this point. The dominant flavor right now is that kind of almond butter. Uh, the leathery notes are still in there, as I said. And then there's that little layer of white chocolate kind of just skimming across there. And at this uh, stage, really, I mean, the cigar is just kind of locked in and holding steady and just very relaxing, really wonderful. It's a really beautiful day today. It's a little warm, but it's cool in the shade. And uh, what really has impressed me about this cigar, you know, is is really the performance and the balance of the flavors. Um, you know, if, in terms of complexity, uh, you know, I mean, it started out kind of spicy and stuff, but a lot of cigars start out like that. It was rounded out within the first inch or so. So, um, you know, I wouldn't say it's, you know, you know, complex in terms of lots of changes, but um, I'll tell you one thing. I've always been really fond of Honduran tobacco and I can tell that the maestros, you know, they didn't skimp on these tobaccos, you know, plus this Ecuador shade wrapper. I mean, you know, it just complements them perfectly. It offers just enough resistance, you know, to kind of let the flavors, you know, kind of, uh, you know, come up to the surface, reveal themselves by adding some additional sweetness and that really nice creamy sweet aroma. Mm. All right, here we are at the tail end of our beautiful H. Upman 1844 Classic Robusto. And I gotta tell you, it's still really well balanced. I'm getting some earthy notes now. I've really been enjoying this cigar. And the thing I love about this cigar is I just love the Honduran core tobaccos in here and uh, the Ecuador Connecticut wrapper. You know, once, once you get the cigar in your hand, you really you know, feel it and see it for yourself. It's beyond reproach, man. It's, I mean, you can smoke the cigar any time of day, uh, regardless of your experience level. I mean, this cigar is really for everybody. And I got to say that the Maestros, they just continue to roll out these really good cigars and especially for the H. Chubman line. Now, this is a line that was like, you know, your grandfather or maybe even your father, you know, smoked. And, you know, what they have done, with they have completely reinvented this H. Chubman line, uh, you know, for the better and also for the, you know, the new generation of, of cigar smokers, really. So I think, you know, it's really a big credit to them. And, you know, if you're watching and you haven't had an H. Upman cigar, um, I'm telling you, start with this 1844 classic. You know, it's really, really a wonderful smoke. You can smoke at any time of day, as I said. And like out here, it's beautiful. Just relax with your favorite drink. And I give it a big thumbs up. It's, I think it's a wonderful cigar and I think you're really going to enjoy it. Okay. Even if you're an experienced smoker, believe me, they really got it right. This Connecticut is not one of these mild little creamy little babies. It's creamy, but man, it's got some nice punch to it too. So anyway, remember you'll find the H. Upman 1844 Classics Collection and all the many other H. Upman cigars at famous-smoke.com. And for more cigar reviews, advice, and news, remember to follow us at cigaradvisor.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube where you can like this video. Thank you very much. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please also click on the notifications bell so you'll always know when a new Cigar Advisor video has been uploaded. That's it for this week. I'm Gary Korb, and thank you for watching Hashtag Now Smoking. <laughs>